Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. We're here at the Lawn Lawn Ranch just on the brink of evening. I guess we made it just in time because Mr. Talon's here. We <laughs> I'm awake already. What? Yeah, he's gonna give us a little chance to do a little contest here. And uh, it took some doing, but I finally got Milan back in a good mood. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? I most certainly do. Still on vacation for a couple more days here. Super Kukos. Hmm. Gaggle of Kukos. You know, I kind of like the sound of Beavy of Kukos better, but I'm not even sure if that's the way you pronounce that. Maybe it's Bevy of Kukos, but heck if I know. I just want him to shut up. Yeah. Got 30 seconds. Alright, this is not too hard at all. I mean, all you gotta do... You basically, you can start by watching where they fall from the ceiling. And you can find at least one of them that way. See, that's one right there. Uh-huh. I like this music, too, when you're playing these contests like this. Let's see, number two. No, that's not you. How about you? Yeah, that's another one. There he's back there cheering like, Oh! Alright, I think it's this one by the door here. No? And then maybe it's this one. No? Then it's gotta be that one. No, I just picked you up. Don't fail me now. There it is. Golly, I'll be darned. It's plum incredible. That's the last one. You found them all. Come on over here, boy. The reward for this is excellent. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't really want to be a cowboy. What, Mary Milan? I don't think so. Huh. Just kidding. Yeah, well, what's too young these days? I don't know. It's funny how you know, we're more strict about that now than we used to be. Because it seems like in every other respect, we've gotten less strict as a society about things. But with that, we've gotten more strict. So it's like, well, you know, who's making the comeback here? I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> okay, we get the idea. Can I... Thank you. Alright, I don't know why I keep... I know you can push Y or B to skip that. You come in here if you want, there's nothing really in here. At least not in this time period, anyway. Oops. But you can actually get your first glimpse of... Luigi. I can't believe that I, the great Ingo, am working on this dump of a ranch. Because the owner is so lazy, I always have to do all the work around here myself. I, the hard-working Ingo, should be in charge, not that lazy bum Talon. I sense a little bitterness amongst the ranks here. A little dissent in the ranks. Hmm. Anyway, so we come back here, make a few rolls, roll a few buds while we're at it. No, not really. I don't condone that in any way, especially not now. Speaking of which, what are we at here? A week and three days smoke free? I believe that's it. Maybe it's a week and two days. The thing is, I kind of, I'm not thinking about it as much these days because I'm trying not to think about it. Someone actually left me a comment that said, "If you put, you know, if you put cigarettes on a pedestal, that just makes it worse." And I kind of see where they're coming from because, you know, the more you celebrate being off of them, the more you make them out to be some huge villain that you're trying to overcome. Anyway, that's the horsey pono, but he just ran away all of a sudden once you tried to introduce him to me. So it seems like Epona is afraid of you, fairy boy. Oh well. When you talk to her again, she'll talk about the song she's singing. Her mother composed this. Let me guess, your mother's dead. Well, that sucks. Um, put the ocarina in that, uh, that slot right there. And take it out. And she'll say, Oh, cute ocarina! Are you going to play this song with that ocarina? Yeah. ba ba ba. I wonder if you can play the other notes with the Y and X. Well, I guess you can. Hmm, that would still be tricky. If there's a song that doesn't have the up in it, I might be able to play that one fast. But, otherwise, who knows. And there, we've learned Epona's song. Yeah. Guess that horse likes me now. Yeah, talk about bringing down the horse. Man, look at that, trying to make it all epic with the owl. Jeez. Okay, anyway. Horse likes me so much, he's pushing me away now. Hey, 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 if I wanted to kiss somebody, I'd be kissing her, not you. Oh, Epona, she's grown fond of you. Yeah, she has. 
But we got everything we need here. We're not going to be using that song for a while, but it's good to have. Just something you really need to make sure you do at some point in the game. Like I said, oh, well, you know what? I'm missing something here. There's other things to do here. What am I talking about? There's nothing left. To, I don't think I said there was nothing left to do here. I just said we got the song. Well, maybe I did say there was nothing left to do here. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember what I said 20 seconds ago. How do you like that? It's because Sin's talks and got to me. So, there you go. <clears throat> and we'll try rolling here and just get by this. And there's a little place back here. It's like a... It looks like a chimney more than anything. Anyway, we got some cows in here and we got some boxes that we need to move. So, um, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I don't think I needed to move that middle one, but oh well. Let's move that one there and then pull this one back. Oh, these things are heavy. I need to go to sleep. Speaking on Link's behalf there, I'm not talking about myself. Uh, down. Grab. Pull. There we go. You only need to move it a little bit and you get back here to the secret passage. Secret passage. This always reminds me of the toilet secret passage in Banjo-Kazooie for some reason. Because the room you end up in looks just like the room that you end up in after you flush yourself down the toilet in Banjo-Kazooie. Yes, I know that. So let's get out of here now. You know what? I'll just meet you back outside the ranch. How does that sound? So I showed you how I got in here, so there you go. Poop on me! Poop on me! I dare you to poop on me, horse! Poop on me! Poop on me, horse! I'm telling you to poop on me! Okay, we're leaving the ranch now. And... Oh, we're almost leaving the ranch. There we go. Back in Hyrule Field time, we'll start passing again now so we can get to that night time. And you probably want it to be night the first time you come to Kakariko Village, because there's stuff you can do there at night that you can't do during the day. On the other hand, if it's daytime, we'll just do the stuff we can do during the day, and we'll let night pass between videos or something. Oh, great, not these guys again. Thought we were done with those. Little bony-ass boners coming out to the ground trying to attack me. I am going the right way, yes. Okay, just making sure. You just never know sometimes. So, around here you'll find a little bridge here that you have to cross. I don't think you actually have to cross it to get over here. I think somewhere up the river there's a place where the land comes down low enough. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see what's in this tree. Sometimes gold sculptures will turn up in trees, but they only show up at night. So, if you hit a tree at night, don't hesitate. You know, like, if you hit a tree during the day and there's nothing there, don't hesitate to hit the same one at night. You might find one. So now time is frozen again. It's frozen at night, so... Because we're inside the village. Also, if you're inside dungeons and temples, time doesn't pass while you're in those either. So, you know, whatever. Not really a huge deal, because time doesn't have any bearing on what happens in there anyway. There's a... Yes. Oh, there he is. Didn't see him at first. It's another gold sculptula. I actually missed a gold sculptula in the first dungeon, but I don't care too much about that, because I will be going back to get that other one that you have to bomb to get to it. And so since I have, I have to go all the way back there anyway, I'll just pick up that other one when I go back for the for the one. You know what I mean. Anyway, Navi's trying to talk to us again. You can just ignore her if you want. But sometimes I like to let her talk just so she'll shut up. That's right. We are supposed to go get Saria's song, aren't we? I forgot about that. Didn't I? I think you can pretty much do... Yeah, because you don't need that just yet. Well, uh, do you? Actually, I think... You do need it pretty soon, but not immediately. Anyway, so if you come to the graveyard at night, you'll run into the Grave Digger. I don't see him out here anywhere. I don't know, he's around here somewhere. Maybe we could just listen to him. Listen for him. Dude, is he really not out here? I hear a gold Skulltula. He's not out here. Oh my gosh, that is so scary. What the heck? Okay, I'm not sure why that is, but uh, but as long as we're here, we can go ahead and do this. Um, man, I don't remember which grave it is, but I'm going to try some of these. Shoot. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's this one. I think it's one of those down there, actually. Yeah, it's a po. There's one right here. 
but you can't do anything in there just yet, so I don't know, so I don't know why I bothered to pull it, but there you go. <laughs> Here we go, let's try this one. Okay, jump down here. And we get ourselves a treasure chest. Looks like there's a wall that can be bombed back there too. It's the Hillian Shield. Yes, you can actually get this for free here rather than saving up rupees for it. It normally costs 80 rupees, or with the discount, 60. You get a discount somehow, I forget how that's done. But I think you talk to somebody who knows the shopkeeper and they do it or something. Anyway, up here is the Royal Tombstone, and if you stand here with the Ocarina and play uh, Zelda song, you prove your connection to the royal family. Crap, I'm over time. Uh, it's another 20-minute video. That's not so bad.